I'm watching a video by Hams at the moment. I don't know. I don't want to get copyrighted or this video taken down because of it. But it's um, bullied for being short on his Hamza unfiltered video with 150,000 views. And it was a video that was five months ago, which is nuts. Like, think about it because I was actually alive this time around. <laughs> five months ago, I was being a spurg. <clears throat> and this kid, like, he sounds like he's like 14, 13 or something. And he's watching Hamza. And I have to say, like, he's the luckiest fucking kid ever. By the time he's 20, he starts his business or whatever. He will have six years of appropriate uh, business experience within his field and he'll be immensely successful immensely successful immensely like to be to be to be young and on self-improvement is like a blessing it's like such a blessing in disguise i say in disguise because when you go on self-improvement you can no longer enjoy the smaller menial things in life you can't enjoy the video games Everyone knows, that. Everyone knows that saying, oh, no video game is fun anymore, and no this, and no that, and da, 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 da. The thing is, yeah, it is true. No video game is fun anymore. It's all the same regurgitated bullshit because companies want to make money. They only care about money. They only care about profits. They don't care give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about giving you the best player experience. Like, Apex Legends. I used to play a lot of Apex Legends. I have quite a lot of clips. You might know me from Apex Legends because I'll probably be posting. No, I will be posting. What the fuck are my weak words? I, I keep saying, saying these weak words. Like, I was going to say, if per chance this goes viral, I want to say to all the young kids, no, it's not per chance. I will I will go viral. What the fuck? <laughs> if, if if I don't go viral, then what the fuck's the point? Anyway, moving on to something more important. Like, Apex Legends, for example. Apex Legends is a game that I played to death. Like, literally to death. I was, I was max level for a very, very long time. I had Heirloom, I had a 21 4K that I didn't earn, by the way. Someone else gave it to me. I'm being honest, I'm being honest. I got, I got the heirloom, I earned the heirloom, I earned my first 2.5k, I got 10 kills, I'm pretty sure my highest kills were like 15 kills. I didn't get that, that high of kills. If I could get 5 more, but then the entire lobby died. So, what can you, what can you do about that? <clears throat> and I played the game to death, right? But I was on controller, and I, I played in this weird angle like this. Which is really, this, playing at like this angle fucking sucks. I, I prefer playing like this. Because then, like, you get to be in the zone, you get to be focused, but, you know, anyways. <laughs> Less on that. I don't think I'll play Apex anytime soon. I want to get my PS4 again and play a little bit. See what the game is now, because the game has changed so much. The new maps, new characters, new everything, but... Like, hearkening back to self-improvement, and these type of things aren't fun anymore. The reality is, when you're on self-improvement, all these spurg activities, all these loserish activities, no longer hold the same enjoyment, which is good and bad, because... You, how do I say this? You enjoy less of the simpler things in life, but you have an insatiable thirst, insatiable chase for the more complicated, complex, more beautiful, rewarding things in life. Like a large, a large, um, I need to make a video of this as well. I haven't watched fucking videos to me. A large, um, not predicaments, but a large predicator, not predicator, a large reason of motivation in the self movement space is like, I want to get back to my parents. It's very, very simple. Right? I've seen it like before. Like, I remember this kid before who was like, he, he was going up to Gary Vee and he was like, oh, I really want to give back to my parents and I really want to do this and I really want to do that. And Gary Vee gave the worst advice I've ever heard in my entire life. He was like, just chill out and think about what you need to do. Da, 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 da. Worst advice ever. If you really want to give back to your parents, you have to sit down and analyze what you are doing in order to give back to your parents. Are you starting your own business to make a bunch of money so you can give them a bunch of money? Are you... You said you're going to school, right? You're going to school, you're getting a job, so they're off your ass for a bit. Are you there just because want, you want them off their ass, or you're actually doing it so you can be, they can be proud of you, you know? Because And then, you have to think about yourself with this shit as well. Like, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big issue, but I want to tell you this right now. Like, even if you're an Asian, or I think with most parents, as, you, as long as you make enough money, you show that you're competent, you show that you're an independent individual, and hardworking, and putting your head down, and pushing, 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 then they will be proud of you, no matter what you do. They don't want to see you lazy. The thing is with most parents is that they don't want to see you lazy. They don't want to see you like, oh, oh yeah, I quit college. Like I did. <laughs> don't be me, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, I dropped out of college. Okay, then what are you doing now? Uh, nothing. Back to the TV. Back to the video game. They don't want you to do that. But if you said, hey, I'm going to go gym. Like my, I literally, every single time my parents would try to start, start me, I'd go on a run. I'd go on a run. They tried to, like, oh, they, they were... They were uh, coming home yes, uh, yesterday, I remember my, my stepdad came home, and then he was just shouting at me all of a sudden, and I was like, I'm just going to go on a run. <laughs> I'm just going to go on a run, and I just ran my heart out. 
it was, it was ran for like half an hour. No, I ran for like 42 minutes. I remember the time correctly. I ran 42 minutes and that was 42 minutes of just nothing. And I just could get all these thoughts, the negative thoughts out of my mind and put it towards something positive, which is increasing my cardio. Listen, guys, your parents want to see you lazy, right? And when you to be young and self-improvement, like it, you sometimes get these feelings where you want to go against the grain and all that shit, but don't go against the grain just yet. Have tangible fucking results and then go against the red grain because then no one can tell you shit. Because if you're making, this is hypothetical, if you're making like £3,000 a month or £4,000 a month off your businesses and you're like, what, 15 some shit? Like this is, this is an outlandish example, but it's entirely possible, right? Or like you're like 16, 17 like I am, 17 like I am, 18, 19, 20 even. You don't want to go to school anymore, you don't want to go to university, you don't care. Focusing on the money, and you spend every those four years that people spend on boozing up, fucking partying, and having fun, woo, time of their lives in university. You spend those years grinding, and the rest of your life is gonna be a party. So, like, fuck, who cares, right? I was it again. I don't know, my eyebrows. It's, it's by default. Like, I don't know, I'm like, a, like an NPC character. I just, I don't relax my eyebrows. <laughs> I keep doing like this, but I don't know. Like this, like, I can't, a super angry expression, but I don't mean to. Okay, guys. So have something in place that you can work hard on. This is this is advice for like from anyone who's like, oh Jimmy, but you don't do anything. I do do something now, but when I was when I, when I was fifteen, I didn't do anything. I was a stupid idiot in school. I didn't think about anything, right? I have videos when I was fifteen. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> I look very different. <laughs> Woo! That's the power of video. This is why I always preach. It. I'm looking smaller today. So I always preach videos, right? Because if you take videos, you can look back on the past. I don't know what I'm saying it so solemnly now. You can look back on the past and you can see where you were before, which I think is so important. Like having a journal, right? The, the main value of having a journal is not only that like, you're processing your thoughts, you're processing your emotions, you're processing where you need to go. The main benefit of a journal is looking at your past self and seeing where you were before and the trial and tribulation and struggles you're going through. You have it in not necessarily real time, but you have your concurrent thoughts at the time because you can't really rely on your brain in order to remember that shit. Anyways, when we move to the main topic, you're young and you're in self-improvement. Guys, if you're 14, right, because I'm going to be viral as fuck. I'm going to grind this YouTube shit. I'm going to be viral as fuck. I don't care. But if you're 14, 15, 16, going on self-improvement, you are the most luckiest individual on planet Earth. Think about that. And people still think about, oh, don't think about luck. Think about this. Luck is nothing more than a probability, all right? Because it's like, for example, if your chances of getting a legendary item is 0.01% chance, now you're going to do that shit like a thousand times in order to get that item, correct? Ah, oh, fuck, my ear just started, eardrum just start getting pissed. So, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Luck is a probability. And lost, having, having the idea of thinking that you're lucky, I think it's still a good thing, though. Because like, in Asian culture, at least, if you think you're lucky, that's a fucking good thing because then you're better off than other people, right? So it's, it's harsh, but it is what it is. You go, if you're that young and self improvement and you understand the reality of the world, you understand that as a man, right? Or I don't know if you're, if you're a woman or self improvement, I've never seen that shit. Woman self improvement, is that a real thing? Can I get viral off that? I think I could get viral off that. But I think being a woman self improvement YouTuber as a man would be a bit weird, but eh, it's fine. Who cares? No one cares. Like, the main advice I can give for women is, like, don't be a whore, don't be a hoe, no whole phase, find a man you love, settle down, have kids. That's a life worth living. That's a nice life. And that gold digger thing, I hate that gold digger thing. Uh, gold digger, gold digger. I think you should, no woman should date a man who's broke. What the fuck? Me? <laughs> Just me? If you have no money, how is he going to take care of you? Take care of your kids. Take care, put food in your mouth. Put food on the table. Oh, crap, anyways. If you're young, it's an improvement. And especially as a man, you understand the reality of the world, bro. You're the luckiest individual ever. Work hard, work hard, young, and see development linearly. And what do I mean by that? Like for example, you're 14, you start a business. It's not the best business, but after a year, you're making a bit of money, like consistent income, like a thousand pounds a month. It's not a lot, but you're four, you're, fu you're fucking 15 at this point, right? Making a thousand pounds a month. That's a really, really good money for your age, which you're gonna hear a lot, by the way. But don't fucking listen to that shit. Keep going. To reach the 10k amount um, a month uh, threshold and then you'll be set for life you, you can do whatever you want and they can continue on scaling your business or you can do whatever you can focus your passion projects focus on youtube it doesn't matter you can do what literally whatever the hell you want because by then you have six years of entrepreneurial experience when you reach 20. when everyone else is like going to university party up booze up you already had your business set up for six years 
That's six years of effort. Like Iman Gaji, everyone likes to look at how he's 23 years old or 24 years old and he's ultra successful. He has a 10 million pound uh, net worth or like a 30 million pound net worth or 50 million pound net worth, 40 million pound net worth. And he has so much money, cash, liquid, and he has this, this and that, da, 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 cars, watches, woman, lifestyle, opulence, everything. He's been in the game for almost 10 years now. I think it's coming up 10 years this year when he turns 24. He started reading books when he was 14. You can see his old YouTube channel. He made it as well. I make it my, This is why I'm making my YouTube channel. Because I want to document my process, right? So you guys can be on the journey with me. You know what I'm saying? So you, you have to understand that there's linear development error to everything. If you're doing entrepreneurship for 10 years, you're going to be successful. And money is infinite. Money is absolutely infinite. There's a shameless amount of stories. Remember that cyclist dude who won the um, US Ironman shit? I don't know. Well, I can give David Goggins an example. Everyone asks David Goggins, like he's always exercising, always running, he's always doing motivational um, speeches and, and talks and everything. But they know, and sometimes the odd person asks, so how do you have time and money to do all of this? Well, you're forgetting the fact that he was a brokey um, spray spray thing, eco labs type of dude, for spraying cockroaches for a living. Then he became an entrepreneur, first and foremost. His, the motivation thing is, is part of his business model to sell books, to sell courses, to sell clothes clothing so i don't know what else he sells but he has some sort of some sort of something like that set up to get revenue right then that can supplement his lifestyle and he can do whatever the fuck he wants and that still is to him working grinding which makes his character so um inspiring and um endearing so if you're young and self-improvement you have to understand that you're the luckiest person on the planet and you need to work even harder because of it just because you're lucky doesn't mean it's gonna be okay you're gonna be 20 one day you're gonna be old one day you're gonna be 35 you don't understand it now because you're 14, right? I don't, I, didn't, I don't see myself being 35. I see myself getting older. I had a dream recently where it was like it was like a, a prediction of the future if everything goes right. And I hope it does, but I, it has to. Because if it doesn't, then what the fuck's the point? I'll get rich or die trying, right? But I saw myself as a completely different individual. I, saw my, I still see myself, but I didn't have the glasses. Classic. I had a girl, I had a, I, I had a girl like as my wife. And my, I had my own like upstate apartment in London. It was beautiful and had like a, like a fucking full grown bed. I look like some some handsome ass Asian dude, man. <laughs> yeah, so if it's a success, work towards something in the future. Man, man. Fourteen year old self improvement is fucking nuts. Only with the advent on the internet you have that shit. And you probably hear like a lot of the shows. Well, I hear a lot as well, but not as much as a fourteen-year-old. I could possibly, ima I can't imagine as much as a fourteen-year-old. But like, I wish I had that mindset when I was your age. You probably hear that shit a lot, all right? Don't let that shit get to your head because you probably don't have tangible results. Mindset is just a mindset, all right? Mindset. You can have a hard-working mindset, but if you hard work towards bullshit, that's fucking bullshit, correct? To hard work something that you need to work hard uh, towards something that matters. YouTube channel, business, entrepreneurship, whatever. Fuck, as long as it pays, and as long as you, you like it, you're good at it, fine. Young and on self improvement. This is this is nuts. This video is like all over the place, but that's what I wanted to say about it. Like, just so lucky, so lucky. Like, I've seen kids in my boxing gym that are 14, 15. They're so young, but they're like training their asses off. They've got like six pack abs and everything. They're like they're literally top one percent echelon. Not even top one percent, like a naught point something percent echelon in their age group, respectively. Because everyone else in their in their year group is like fat spurgs, geeks. Like when I was fourteen, I was a geek. I was a fat geek. I, I, it's not comparable. They're fourteen, the fucking way ahead. Listen, guys, don't, but don't don't stop to like. How do I say this? Don't stop to just look around and say, "Oh yeah, I'm ahead of everyone else. I can get comfortable." Never get comfortable. Never get complacent. But still have that thought in your mind, right? So you can be grateful for where you've come, for how far you've come. All right, so. This video is steadily approaching 15 minutes. I can't post a video longer than 15 minutes. I'll see you in the next video. Sayonara.